The future of aerial fighters just got a lot more interesting. The United States has made bold strategic moves to dominate the skies with unrivaled technologies. But in this high-stakes race, Russia and China are making silent yet shocking strides. Is the United States ready to usher in its seventh generation fighter? Join us as we explore the $4 billion investment poised to redefine air supremacy. In a world where air dominance is crucial, the United States has taken significant steps to ensure its lead. It began with an expensive contract to upgrade the formidable F-22 Raptor, followed by the development of the next generation air dominance, NGAD platform. However, the US isn't stopping there. The nation is now venturing into the next frontier with the construction of the seventh generation fighter, a technological marvel designed to outclass any adversary. But the race is far from one-sided. Russia and China, determined not to be outdone, are making their own advancements in stealth, speed and firepower, sending shockwaves through the global defense community. As these nations vie for aerial superiority, the stakes have never been higher. In this video, we delve into the United States' ambitious plans and the unprecedented $4 billion investment in the seventh generation fighter. We also uncover the secretive moves by Russia and China, examining what they have in store for the world. Get ready to witness the future of air combat and the technologies that will shape it. The Rise of the U.S. Air Force During World War II, the United States Army Air Forces, USAAF, underwent an astonishing evolution from a modest force in 1939 to the world's most formidable air force by 1944. Spearheaded by visionary leaders like Robert A. Lovett and General Henry H. Arnold, the USAAF ballooned to nearly 2.4 million personnel and 880,000 aircraft. This transformation saw the establishment of multiple air forces across the globe, pivotal in shaping the outcomes of both the European and Pacific theaters. Strategically, the USAAF prioritized a relentless bombing campaign against Germany. The 8th Air Force launched operations from England in 1942, joined later by the 15th Air Force in Italy. These sustained assaults severely crippled Germany's war economy by war's end. Concurrently, tactical air forces provided crucial support in Europe and the Mediterranean, ensuring air superiority that stymied enemy efforts. The USAAF's pivotal role extended to the historic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, showcasing the devastating potential of air power. This success solidified the USAAF's push for autonomy, culminating in the National Security Act of 1947, which established the Independent Department of the Air Force amidst efforts to unify the armed forces. Entering the Cold War, the Air Force sharpened its focus on strategic deterrence, exemplified by the Strategic Air Command, SAC, under General Curtis LeMay. SAC achieved unprecedented readiness levels and played a critical role during the Korean War. Advances in missile technology, including intercontinental ballistic missiles and reconnaissance satellites managed by the National Reconnaissance Office, further expanded the Air Force's capabilities. Throughout the ensuing decades, the Air Force embraced technological advancements such as stealth bombers and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, ensuring its relevance in modern warfare. Operations in the Persian Gulf War of 1991 underscored the Air Force's continued effectiveness, demonstrating its pivotal role in contemporary military operations despite ongoing fiscal challenges. The Rise of Sixth and Seventh Generation Fighters The United States is setting the stage for a new era in military aviation, embarking on the bold path of 6th and 7th generation aircraft development. This audacious move isn't just about upgrading existing fighters. It's a stark recognition that even the most advanced aircraft will soon fall short against evolving threats. Enter the next generation air dominance, NGAD program, 
the vanguard of future air superiority. Imagine a sixth-generation fighter surpassing the legendary F-22 Raptor in speed, stealth, and lethal capability. These aircraft will zip through the skies at twice the speed of sound, armed with unparalleled agility and survivability in highly contested environments. Initiated by the U.S. Air Force and born from a DARPA study, NGAD integrates manned penetrating counter-air platforms with unmanned loyal wingmen. This revolutionary approach promises diverse mission capabilities, tailored for long-range operations in the Indo-Pacific and agile maneuvers in European theaters. At the heart of NGAD's prowess are advanced engines from the Adaptive Engine Transition Program and next-generation adaptive propulsion, poised for deployment by 2025. Initially inspired by the rapid development cycles of past fighter jets, NGAD has evolved into a modern production model to meet today's complex demands. General Brown of the U.S. Air Force forecasts a gradual replacement of the F-22 as NGAD operational units come online. What started as a single aircraft concept has expanded into a multifaceted system, integrating drones and cutting-edge computer systems to enhance combat effectiveness. Scheduled for full deployment in the 2030S, NGAD represents more than just a new fighter. It's a strategic leap towards air dominance. Tested under the AIX plane program since 2020, NGAD prototypes are paving the way for unprecedented advancements in aerial warfare capabilities. Beyond hardware, NGAD embodies a holistic strategy, seamlessly integrating manned and unmanned platforms with cyber and electronic systems. This comprehensive approach not only elevates mission efficiency, but also sets a new standard in global air combat capabilities. Technological marvels abound within NGAD, Advanced computer systems optimize mission planning and post-flight analysis, while enhanced communication capabilities foster seamless coordination across air and ground units. The propulsion system stands as a testament to innovation, enabling high-speed maneuvers without sacrificing endurance or reliability. And while NGAD pushes the boundaries of today's technology, discussions around seventh-generation fighters loom large. BA Systems, in collaboration with UK partners, is spearheading efforts under the Future Combat Air System Initiative, envisioning aircraft that evolve through software updates and continuous development cycles. Seventh Generation Fighters In the ever-evolving landscape of combat aviation, the Global Combat Air Program marks a milestone, a collaborative effort between the US, Italy and Japan set to debut in 2035. But beyond this, our gaze turns to the horizon of possibility, the seventh generation fighters. Peter Suu, a voice in defense journalism, paints a picture of future fighters adorned with groundbreaking technologies. Could these be the vanguards of fully autonomous, unmanned combat platforms? Indeed, the march of military hardware progresses, building upon past triumphs. Take the B-21 Raider, an offspring of the B-2 Spirit, featuring a sleek flying wing design, a testament to evolutionary success. Meanwhile, BA Systems charts a bold path with its Combat Air Continuum concept, a roadmap for 25 years of air power evolution. Enter the second epic, an era where fifth and sixth generation platforms meld seamlessly with autonomous loyal wingman drones extending the operational lifespan of legacy jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon. Unlike their enduring counterparts, think B-52 Stratofortress and M-1 Abrams, fighter jets face a shorter tenure. The F-22, introduced in 2005, already makes way for its successor, the sixth generation, next generation air dominance platform. Meet the Raptor, a marvel birthed by Lockheed Martin and Boeing crafted for unrivaled speed, radar invisibility, and all-weather prowess. Originally engineered to dominate the skies, its versatility spans ground attacks, electronic warfare, and intelligence gathering. But as SUU points out, the dawn of seventh-generation fighters sparks more than technological fervor. 
it ignites profound ethical and legal debates. With costs soaring, multinational collaborations become imperative to standardize requirements and ensure economic viability. Yet, amidst this fervor, dissenting voices like Brandon Wars remind us of an alternative path. Are sixth and seventh generation fighters a strategic misallocation? Weir argues for simpler, cost-effective solutions, unmanned systems and space-based weaponry aligning with future needs. In this age of rapid advancement, where 3D printing and computer-aided design hasten progress, the debate rages on. Cost, complexity, and strategic alignment hang in the balance, a testament to the crucible where innovation meets the imperative of national defense. The Race to Next-Gen Fighters A debate ensues over the economic wisdom of investing in advanced, costly warplanes versus more streamlined, space-oriented technologies. Enter the F-22 Raptor, once heralded as the pinnacle of air superiority. Despite calls to retire it in favor of the F-35, concerns about maintaining dominance over vital areas like space have sparked renewed interest in enhancing existing Raptors. Andrew Hunter, the U.S. Air Force acquisition boss, emphasizes the F-22's foundational role in future air power amidst rising global competition. Plans are underway for a massive $22 billion upgrade, equipping the Raptor with state-of-the-art systems like advanced avionics and stealthy external fuel tanks. These enhancements aim to extend its service life and bolster its effectiveness against evolving threats, especially crucial in defending regions like the Taiwan Strait. Meanwhile, Russia isn't resting on its laurels. Reports from the Russian Academy of Sciences reveal ambitious plans for a sixth-generation combat aircraft by 2050, incorporating AI, advanced digital technologies, and enhanced command capabilities these fighters prioritize air-to-air -air superiority and survivability in modern warfare scenarios. Not to be outdone, China presses forward with its J-20 stealth fighters, now a cornerstone of its fifth-generation fleet. With production scaling up and technological upgrades ongoing, the J-20 family continues to redefine air combat capabilities in the Asia-Pacific region and beyond. As the world's technological superpowers vie for dominance, the debate rages on. Should the focus be on beyond visual range engagement or close range dogfights? Should future aircraft be manned or unmanned? These questions underscore the complexities of modern military strategy and the quest for the ultimate aerial advantage. The U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program aims to introduce a sixth generation successor to the F-22 by 2030 poised to maintain America's edge in aerial warfare. Amidst debates and developments, the stage is set for a new era of air power, where innovation and strategy intersect to define the future of global security. The race for next-generation fighters isn't just about technology. It's about strategic foresight and operational readiness. As we look ahead, the capabilities and lethality of these advanced aircraft will shape the future battlefield landscape. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the evolving world of military aviation. Click the link on your screen to discover more and join us on this journey of discovery and innovation in defense technology.